हेलो गाइज दिस इज आकाश पटेल वेलकम टू द टूटोरियल सो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन इम्प्लीमेंट मल्टीपल स्प्लैश स्क्रीन यूजिंग एक्स कोड पैन एंड इन स्विफ्ट फोर सो आई गॉट मैनी रिक्वेस्ट इज टू हैव दिस वीडियो सो लेट्स गो थ्रू आई ऑलरेडी हैव ए वीडियो इन ऑब्जेक्टिव सी सो दिस टूटोरियल इज माइट बी यूजफुल हो are looking for the code with the objective c but let's go through with uh, swift 4 now this is your ideal uh, screen this is the storyboard you can let's change the color so this is the orange now let's uh, simply run the project to show how how it works okay so you can see Here is the splash screen, and after a few seconds, it will be gone, and the initial launch screen will be there. So here it is. Now, let's identify the initial launch screen. Let's say this is add one label, and say it's a home. Okay, so now, if you want a second splash screen, first of all, uh, let's consider a case where you want to expand the time of the first splash screen which you have set here. So this particular splash screen will be there. So we will just simply let's just copy this particular view controller file from here, and now just paste it here, and uh, let's. assign the initial view controller so now let me just add one class file here which will be the type of ui view controller now just okay let me just it will just Just rename the file as a splash one. Now, I will just apply this particular class to our this splash one class. Okay. So keep the same storyboard ID. Now. Let's say you want to add another splash screen, so just copy the view controller. I'm just uh, changing the background color just to simplify it. You can apply your splash screen, whatever design or UI you have. Let's apply the splash here. So this is our splash two. Let's name. Let me add one class. Splash two of the type UI view controller. now same way we will use this particular class assign this to this controller okay so and now if suppose we want another splash screen just copy this thing and you can see there are four view controllers uh, our three view controllers are performing as a splash screen so let's change the color keep it a blue so you can see one two and three all three are these screens will be the splash screen in our application and this will be the home view controller or you can say the launch view controller after the splash screen finishes now i will just change the class here let's name it three and i will just add it to the project folder okay now our flow should be like that from the first splash screen it should be navigated to the second splash screen so now uh, in this uh, splash one we will define a code to navigate from a to a splash two so now in view did load or you can define a view did appear now 
now let's say you, you want this particular splash one screen for uh, three seconds on your application launch so type a dispatch queue and uh, main thread all the operation will be performed so we will define a main thread after a uh, three seconds and our code will be navigate to splash to yeah same way for okay let's uh, code the first let's say a uh, vc splash vc2 and it will be the storyboard file with the identifier splash two okay and just mm, move it to the vc2 but here we here is a case we will uh, set animated false here because we don't want our view controller uh, I mean uh, the splash screen to uh, become the animated so otherwise user will get an idea this is a view controller not a spl uh, splash screen so here let's say uh, I can just uh, define a splash to here class here okay. So, okay now the main thing is we need to add a navigation controller as well as we are navigation navigating up from one view controller to another so just to keep in mind that here um, this will be our navigation controller and also just hide the navigation con bar so I'm just hiding the navigation bar from the storyboard only okay so again back to the splash one view now you can simply copy this particular code and paste it to the another splash screen which is the splash 2 let's suppose you want a splash 2 uh, on the screen for 2 seconds so I'm just change the timing to the 2 and here it will navigate to the splash screen 3 after this finishes okay so let's rename everything with the 3 and at the end let's suppose if you want your splash screen 3 for 3 seconds as well so I will just set the timer at the 3 second and here from here we will move to the home screen so now uh, home screen is our view controller file so let's just say uh, add the identifier to that home controller I'm just selecting this and adding the identifier as a home and you can use the same identifier here okay now you just simply run the project you will see the splash one for three seconds after the app finishes launches then splash two for two and splash three for three seconds let's see okay here is your second splash screen for two seconds okay oh, I, I got a crash I guess okay uh, I think we don't have identifier as a splash 3 mm. no, we have it If we haven't applied a splash three here, class no, it is applied there. Let's run the project again. Let's see how it works. This is the splash one. Now the splash two, and then now splash three. Yes, after two seconds and after three seconds, we are on home. So this is how you can apply the multiple splash screen so that's all from my end if you have any query any doubt feel free to comment feel free to ask me if you like the video hit the like button please subscribe to my channel for more tutorial in the future
थैंक यू सो मच गाइस हैव अ नाइस डे